Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for August, Monday, August 7th. And just like every other Monday, I read a prayer list. And I had to rewrite our prayer list. It just continues to grow. So, um, I rewrote it because it was just <laughs> getting hard for me to read my own handwriting again. So I'll read, I'll read it as follows. And of course, if you'd like, if you have a prayer request, feel free to leave it in the comments or to email it to me. Uh, my email is always in the description box below the videos. Just click on the little thing that says more at the bottom of the video and it'll, uh, it'll drop down the description box and you can um, find my email address in there. So our uh, prayer list goes as follows. Jody Fink, Krista Sorrells, Annie Knight, Amy Smith, Kelly Manier, Cindy and Robert with Pups and Crochet, Linda Coulter and family, Marsha Norton and family, Lisa the Grammy, Alana, Alana Hawkins, Deborah Hypes, Almarina Gilbert, Camper 14, also known as Tina, Llama Mama Kayla and Big Daddy, Sheena Sorrells, Destiny Sorrells, Mama G Gear, Linda, Just Another Crochet Sister, USA Podcaster Gloria, Rachel Crawley, Flynn, Kirsty McKenzie, Paula and Don Mahoney, Nakima Bias, Jerry, uh, Joanne B, Jen Apple, Peggy, Dwayne and Michelle, Bonnie Myers, Karen Woodward, Annette Delaney, Sarah Gray, Debbie Wheeler, Debbie A, Jackie, Sarah in England, Devon Jenkins, I think there was another name on there somewhere. I must have missed it. Anyway, uh, uh, Sherry Carr and family, Sarah Nicole, uh, Sarah, Sarah Nicole and uh, Butters, Crystal, Mary Jane, Pam Sawson family, Jacob and family, Terrell and David Owens, Dee Dee Christensen and John Warden. So those are our folks on our prayer list uh, this week. If you would please remember them in your prayer. I really appreciate it. And our devotion starts with a Bible verse and it goes as follows. All scripture is God breathed, breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. 2 Timothy 3.16 in our inspirational story. I bought a plastic storage bench with some assembly required. My older son Pierce is 14 and I'm always looking for him to learn new skills. I briefly reviewed the instructions with him and a buddy gave them the necessary tools and, step, and stepped away hoping they would sort it out as part of the learning process. Not too far into it, I heard harumphing and G-rated expletives. Mom, this thing is broken. We have to send it back. I smiled, I remembered. I'd read in the instructions, before you send this back, please call us. I've put together many pieces of furniture, so I knew this was probably a case of user error. I read the directions out loud, and the three of us carefully walked through the steps together. They had missed one. In a few minutes, the problem was solved. Moments later, they ran into another issue but this time I heard them talk through it. How often have I built my life in this way? I hit a roadblock, throw my hands up in despair, and I'm ready to give up before asking Jesus for help. How often have I failed to review my Bible, the ultimate instruction manual, to determine where I'd gone wrong or what to do next? Today, that plastic bench sits on my patio, a reminder that the perfect handyman, Jesus, is standing by to help me assemble a life that works. After all, he was a carpenter, Isabella, and she has a lovely Italian last name I can't pronounce. Faith step, are you at a dead end with a problem you can't seem, seem to fix? Take some time to consult your biblical instruction manual and talk to the carpenter.
Hmm. Reckon he'll help me with my crochet problem? <laughs> no, that problem will fix itself. <laughs> I like this one very much, and I hope y'all did too. Uh, please remember that I love you, and so does Jesus, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye now.